Suarez definitely kind of cooked him. Yeah. And BB just beating Suarez too. Suarez definitely like the stack. We stack to like, yo, I'm playing kind of nice today. <laughs> yeah, ooh, Numbu is going to get called out on his uh, attempt. Just going to be, you know, a matter of out buttoned by dish joints at the end of the day. Yeah. Now with Bounce on deck, this is going to be so huge to disrupting Numbu's flow chart, right? Because now you got no header, no sun salutation, nothing uh, that you can actually do to uh, to pressure Hugo from a distance. Yeah, you got nothing. Um, but the big thing here is they also play all the time. Yep. And BB has been taking it recently. Like, they play at every waypoint. They play at the uh, Brooklyn. Yep. So, this is a matchup, like, if you watch the New York, all the New York tournaments, you'll see it fairly often. Eventually, yeah. This is one of the classics, one of the staples of the city. Really nicely spaced down tilt. And once again, Bounce going to be coming in to play. John maybe dropping his shield a little bit too soon, anticipating a jab to backdash. Ooh, dash back. No back dashes in this game. And Kaboom is going to be able to take it off. Yeah, Kaboom being like... Hero's like best tool, low key. He's able to catch uh, so many players like out, like misty eyeing, um, like out of the dash. I don't know. It's fast, it's scary, but you know, at the end of the day, Nambu is still going to be able to find that edge guard for himself, able to quickly even up those percents. And now when he sees that Vivi has no bounce on deck, wow. 40. 40. What a trade. <laughs> That's a okay. game. 75% off of three straight hits. Huh. Yeah. Look at those jab mix ups from Vivi. Once again, just applying so much press, uh, pressure to John. Nah, no, I'm looking at these characters. We're playing the wrong characters. <laughs> yeah, floaties can't do it like this, yeah. huh? Nah, uh, you're playing Nas, so I'm playing Peach. We did, we did something wrong. Truly. Oh, just dashing back a little bit there. Okay, this could definitely be the kill if Vivi is able to get close enough to John. Now just waiting for him to do something. He's playing so second beat right now. Oh, Sizzle almost going to take the stock right there. I actually still often didn't shell even though with bounce. That's just like force of habit right there. And up tilt, going to take it. Vivi's playing clean. Vivi's playing solid. He's keeping John out. He's mid-range camping him, and he has bounce on deck to the point that he can't go for headers and some salutations. If I'm members, I'm feeling like, you know, a little bit uh, claustrophobic right now. And oh! Called out that spot dodge as, with the ass smash. Jumps right into some salutation just like that. Number is able to reclaim the lead for himself, albeit a very gentle one. Tries to call out some of these deep bleeding attempts. Both of them just pulling out the respective menus and the respective buffs. Yeah. <laughs> Whose buffs do you think is scary? VVs are numbers right now. I gotta say VV right now. But if he gets if he gets his infant psych up back, that's definitely gonna be a lot scary, a hell of a lot scary than uh, the deep breathing. Yeah, no, definitely, I agree with your sentiment right there. Mike, I like that. That was a really good mix-up. Numbers was definitely not ready for it. He was maybe anticipating like another falling aerial uh, from MVP. Right, headed the wrong way, and the roll. I feel like Numbers has a tendency to roll, like panic roll like that, if they feel like they messed up. A really good patience from John that time around, right? He was just able to put himself in a position where he can confidently react to that. He's not getting hit by any kabooms uh, anytime soon. And now he is stuck at the ledge. How does Vivi take uh, advantage of this? Oh, hit the ball. Not looking good. And yeah, there it is. The up smash. Not looking good it. for who? That looked like it was supposed to be Vivi's game. Well, Not looking good for Vivi. I, I mean, you had different thoughts. Vivi at the ledge. Look at this. Look at the spacing on this. He was that, that hit his foot. Yeah. So, but the big thing is Vivi landed on the plat. Yeah. And with a fastball in there, which wasn't really covering much. Unless, like, John, like, jumped up there and tried to challenge him. Yeah. And up probably wouldn't even kill at that point. So yeah. that was just, like, really good management of, like, risk places you away from John. Yeah. Because he was like, you know, even if I whiff this up smash, I don't get hit for it. If I hit you shield, I hit you shield below plat, so you're not yeah. punishing me. And if I hit you, you die. So there was truly, like, no lose in this situation yeah. for John. It was just a great sharking option right there. 
All right, so let's see how this plays out in game number two here. Vivi already doing a really good job of keeping him out once again. You know, just sticking to his game plan. Projectiles get bounced as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, converting off the fireball right here. Okay, John manages to run up mm -hmm. and just push Vivi in the corner. Oh, that movement was so tricky. Jumped in, wave bounce, sun salutation back, and tried to go and free dash grab. John could have definitely kept his eyes a little bit more than Vivi doing that uh, situation. Yeah. Getting a little bit too lost in his own sauce. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm looking kind of nice. Really big back there. That's not going to be able to kill quite yet. Tries to go through the angled header, but then, of course, Zoom going to be coming on in in time. Oh. Well, that is fascinating. I never realized uh, that when Zoom is, like, still happening, the little mini-map in the top left side is still active. Yeah. Huh. You learned something new. That, that's how you know what side to go. Do you have enough time to actually react to that, though? Uh, some characters can. Yeah. Dashing back a little bit, trying to get something going here. Webby takes this first stock, is going to just control the pace and the tempo of the rest of this match. Yeah, and uh, dare I say, the set? No, actually, I feel like I feel like that's a too big of a statement. This one stock couldn't possibly define so much, could it? We'll find out. Oh, but there <laughs> that's going to be John. And now, actually, John's the winner of that set. Yep. Because <laughs> uh, he could take the stock off. But Vivi going to be quickly slapping back with one of his own up throws. <laughs> right back at you. Get down. It's how how funny. <laughs> Dara. <laughs> I'm getting a hundred and nine preset off stage in the corner. Uh oh. Oh that wait. Yeah. Oh that wait from John was delicious. That was so good. Really smart. This is getting snowballing great from Vivi. John is making so many adaptations here. Big punishes. Has the good idea, but then, you know, at the end of the day, get up attack is just, you know, it's a wake up attack. So I gotta be cognizant of it as an option, even if it's not the most common choice. Yeah, uh, a lot, crazy enough, a lot of people do like to get up attack once you stand by them. Mm -hmm. So you can easily bait it out with like Jump. two sh jumps, short hops. Shielding it is not always the best choice. In no, fact, it depends I, how big your shield is. Yeah. Depends how big it is. Also depends on like the attack and like how far the shield pushback is on yeah. it. Uh, but who gets the jump read out of the uh, out of the belly? Oh. The header is saving John. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. I think it hit both of them. I don't think the header ended up hitting John for it though. Mm. This song's dope. <laughs> Sounds like a, like a one piece opening. Yeah, it reminds me more of like a DBZ game opening. But, ooh, uh, I'm not really sure what the sentiment was behind that because John, John yeah. like sat there, kept on charging despite Vivi being right on top of him. And now all of a sudden this is Vivi's lead. This is his game right now. He has him stuck in the corner, but with no MP and no good rolls. He is not uh, going to be able to pull anything good anytime soon. Yeah, this turnaround, oh, I really like the falling up here. And yeah, you can't do that up tilt on his yeah. shield. He's being really, really patient, jumping back. Dashing and shielding, Vivi just making his movement so safe, so ambiguous. Damn. We'll see. Oh, Ooh, run of grab. Good conditioning from Numbies. He got to tell that Vivi's just going to shield and in response to the Sun Salutation, so he was just able to pressure and get the grab. I like the pivot grab right there. And you see the Psyka on the deck. Oh, missing the dash attack. New got the correct read, and it just didn't pan out. I like the idea of coming on because that was just good coverage at the end of the day. That down smash though, bit misplaced. Now Vivi at 141 needs to make it back. Numbi's committing a little bit too much. Now you're stuck in a corner against that up tilt, against that back here. That could have gone south so quickly. Yeah. Okay, wow. up tilt. Yeah, kind of take it. Remember when I said num numbers going to win the set? Damn, his, his spacing is off point. Yeah. Numbi's like dashed all the way back there. He was like, you know what, I'm so confident that you just could have jumped in like this. And uh, Vivi did, and Vivi whiffed. He is not anticipating John to like run all the way back like that. Yeah, I, almost nobody will. It was like, man, I think I'm safe right here. And then Numbers is like, yo, I already got you on lock. <laughs> yeah. When you like typically see people like run, they either like dash and run a little bit, or they just like dash, or they just walk. 
how many people just like run to such like a specific point yeah uh, to, to, to try and like whiff punish something yeah and that, that's how you know they play a bunch like that's just like a tall tale read yep but yeah with that being said they're gonna be going into game number three here um, the biggest thing is, you know, John's spacing is a little bit more on point than VD's. He's starting to no longer get hit by, like, all these projectiles from across the stage. Um, and he's baiting and he's, like, baiting and conditioning a lot using the charges of Sun Salutation. That will always be funny for me. Wow. Song is hype. It is. Alright, we got Gohan out here. All right, and BB applying now more pressure, just trying to get into John's face with, with Accelerado. And once again, another really big opening for BB. Accelerado just able to get you from A to B so quickly. BB with a quick little edge guard, really nicely spaced for you, is going to be able to get him that stop. Now, John, neutral air just gives WeFit so much creativity to get stuff going. That up smash could have well killed yeah. uh, had it connected. It, it does tend to leave whole. Oh. There was only one option he was covering. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, John. But it's like, it leads into so much creativity when John is able to hit the neutral air, but you barely see it, him go for the option because he does like to play off stage. But these newer players, or like the upper rising players, are forcing him off that game and just making him try different options on stage. And that's why you're seeing like a more, like less corner-oriented numbers. A oh, big back throw for the numbers right now. What's going to be a play here? Vivi is still just going to be able to zoom safely back onto the stage, though. So, uh, invalidating any attempt to be able to get an edge code. All right, Bear going to push him off stage. Oh, oh. Numbers. He had the good idea, but then Bounce was still active for a little bit too long. Now Bounce is no longer on deck. So, if he wants to go through, like, jump and, you know, be the boost neutral bees, now's the time to do it. Oh, down up to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, 120. We've seen Numbies make these comebacks. We've seen his ability to get early spikes. <laughs> You've seen Gohan like this? He just exploded. He didn't even take any knockback. Yeah. He was just deleted. It's like, yo, get out of here. Oh, he. I think John was a little bit nervous for going uh, for side B that time yeah. again. Maybe not anticipating the fact that Bounce would dissipate. Yeah. Wasn't like fully keeping track of the timer, so just respected the fact that they couldn't go up for the option again. Yep. Both of them just gonna be slowing down the pace of the game a little bit. This is a huge deficit for John, a big lead for VV right now. He is cooking, he's chilling, he's getting everything that he wants right now. This game's over. Oh, jump from ledge. And VV now just taking up the center stage. Let's see what's gonna happen. He's fully charged up. Oh, and then the goes right into the F smash. Bit of a misplay from VV. Once again, John is like only covering one space with his tech chases. And VV falls for it over and over again. Two 50%. hits, 49%. Three 80? hits, 70. Uh oh. Oh no. She's talking trash. Oh, that header was so big for John because that sizzle, sizzle could have been so bad. Up throw, not going to be able to kill quite yet. I like that he dropped it, but then just air dodged a little bit too soon. He couldn't fast fall past it. Yeah. And yeah, this is so scary. All right. That's for the jump call out there. Right now, Vivi is going to be standing on his last That's legs. It. Really well placed. Florida is going to be getting that kill. And now Vivi's back in it. That was, that was, oh. yeah. John almost did that. Yeah, like three hits, seventy nine percent, Dara. What happened? Like, what was the what was the reasoning behind double jumping like this? A panic. That's that's like ninety percent of the reason why. A lot of people get scared. You want center stage. Yeah. Yeah. There's like an anticipation, like VV could just dash up low. Yeah, VV was waiting for it. He was not like setting up any preemptive ledge yeah. traps. He was just like waiting for any like you know really quick high recovery attempts. You gotta like check where your opponent is. If he's on the other side of the stage, then you can do that. If he's already setting up the ledge trap, you can do that. At that point, a little too late. Oh, parry jump? 
That's the former Nintendo World Champion right there. <laughs> Staring menacingly. Yeah, it's the most James Bond I saw. Oh, failed once, goes for it again. Failed the second time, and now VV is getting good at thirty percent for it. Oh, that trade not really much in VV's favor. Mm -hmm. All right, getting shark and very master numbers. I we don't. just looked at each other at the yeah. same time. I don't know about that up smash shot. I don't know who he was hitting. Uh, but now VV just trying to find this opening right now. That's the whip punish on the down smash. That was a nice call out. I like that little bit of a jump up with the header just to take it to account for it. it. And that's going to be it. Yeah. Yep. I call it off. Up tilt. Up tilt. He's got a flu, he's trying to bait flu, but then John just like, you know what, I've had enough of this. I'm going to fall off the platform nice and aggressively. And that could have been the kill. It was the kill, Dara. Okay. Good. Good. Glad he got it. Oh, he's looking for you. He wants that falling neutral. You already know what he wants. If he's got deep breathing, he's looking for that, you know. He's he's putting all of his chips into this one. Not able to get the jump call out, though, and uh, Vivi lives another day. Yeah. And only 48%. So, this is, as we saw, like, it's like two straight hits, essentially. Right, so you got a little something going. VV that time again goes through all three hits of the jab. Jump, uh, John not able to get a big punish on it. Oh, that was so smart from John, using the header to stop the kaboom. Tomahawk Sun Salutation, because why not? Now has VV in a really nasty position. Good reaction no on the directional air dodge. And VV drifts down to safety. Yeah, it's not even landing towards numbers. And John's now catching these bad rolls from VV. VV is panicking on like what to do in certain situations. Just jumping all over you to play so he gets a bit of stage control. Now the question is, how will he be able to use it? John ends up fading back into the projectile. Not really sure what the intention was. He could have just yeah. dodge. Could yeah, just waited. Probably believing that the projectile was a bit faster and they, they were past it, but just yeah. got barely got hit. Huh. I do think the display comes out a little bit before here on this. That's fascinating. Keep notes. <laughs> okay, down so. Oh, the header now going to be able to hit him in time. Zooming once again to safety. Back onto the stage. Now that's going to be Vivi looking for a way oh. to even this up. But then Numbi's getting him at the exact time that he wanted to fall off that plat. Wow. Now he's able to do those header follow-ups. Now that there is no bounce on deck, already 54% and climbing. This is looking like John said. Yeah, no, this is... He's running away with this. Catching oh. these jumps. Almost ran back into the header. Mm -hmm. Got to keep that in mind. You got to remember that it's out there. John just needed as a quick little reminder. Jab and grab mix-ups. Just catching DP being a little bit too scared. Sitting in shield. Yeah. And that deep breathing might have saved John's life. Mm -hmm. Roll. Rolls back on in front of DP's face. But then he's stuck into all that and lag from the kaboom. And could not get a whip punish. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. The ambiguity. Oh, the feedbacks. Oh, uh -oh. They're, they're pressing. Somebody tomahawk somebody, please. Oh, yeah, you can't jump in front of VV like that forever. Up to going to end it right there. And using invincibility to run through. Oh, jumped and was able to bait the get up attack. He had a good idea, but then was not able to get a punish. Yeah, oh, a he's bit whipping. too scared. He's whipping. Taking a second and be able to slow things down here. This is looking really scary for Vivi in a really good position, also just to react to Kaboom in time. It's gonna happen. Oh, so many sparks that happened for John. Okay, Bear gonna push Vivi off. Up he's back on. The question is, how is Vivi actually gonna be able to make it off this ledge? And then he does not. Jumps right into the upper, and just like that, that's going to be John taking a 3-1 over the BB. Yeah, and now we have grand final set. Wow. Grand finals now, John Numbers versus Dill. Mm -hmm. uh, before we actually do that, 
I'd really like to go into the bathroom if that's possible. Yep, ads. so we're gonna... Take us off, bud. Alright, so we're gonna run a few ads. We're here at House of 3000. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Here at House of 3000. Yo, follow us everywhere. Like, come on, man. We're like some of the best in the business. And also, don't forget to go to Collision March 12th through the 13th in North Bergen, New Jersey.